Hey, it's QLMB. Uh, this is the Dell Optiplex 3050. Bought it off eBay for a quite cheap price, and I used it to make a music channel. So this includes automated song titles, a randomly picked playlist, and a bunch of competition win messages to ultimately bring back the 2010s nostalgia feel. I'm trying to rebuild my own full music, man. I'll dive in deeper on the phone, and I'll show you all the custom coding it took to make this thing, and I'll show it off to you. Oh, it is fairly heavy. <laughs> See, you made this. So first off, there's a lot of really cool things that I've managed to do with this PC. A lot. So, real quick, the reason why I made it is because I just had a spare monitor sat in my room. It was literally just a blank TV, nothing on it, and it was just kind of taking up space for no reason. So I thought, what would be cool? A decoration of an empty, turned-off TV, or the decoration of a man-made music channel that loops all of my favourite songs. Psst, it was the music channel idea. First off, I want to show you what it actually looks like. This is the fake, fictitious brand that I made for the channel. Personally, my heart lies with 4Music and Viva, a kind of cheap, gimmicky, not that much thought put into it channel, but yet all about being a brash, really youthful, and as trying to be cool as possible. So I developed the brand, You're The Music which is quite a, you know, cheesy 2010s motif that I thought would have worked for the channel. And I think it oozes cheapness all out. So then technically, how does it actually work? Let's zoom in. By using OBS and a few plugins, we're able to easily craft a music channel. Now, your the music echoes a lot of nostalgia. I think you can tell just by the small snippets you've seen of it. From the overly cartoonish, rounded Y2K type of logo, to the very cheap and low quality text of, you can win blank. Overall, it all echoes back to one thing, my passion for music. Well, I used two plugins, one named Tuner and one named Advanced Scene Switcher. If you have OBS or if you stream or if you make any type of content using it, you should definitely have Advanced Scene Switcher on there. It is a mandatory plugin for what it can do. So what I've done is I set up little macros so as it shifts through every song, it changes a text value within a notepad document that OBS reads. So what it does is by using the metadata of a video, we can pass through the artist and the song name and save that to a particular text file. This is how OBS constantly shows the correct metadata for whatever song is playing and how it actively changes whenever the video starts or whenever a video ends. Oh, by the way, future Matthew here. Pause right now if you want a really detailed explanation on how all of this plugin system works, because I've had to majorly simplify it for the purposes of this video. So if you want a full explanation, here it is now. Advanced Scene Switcher in this instance is very handy. It shows and displays the metadata, then hides it. It does the same with the logo and the contest text. Oh, that is a mouthful. But because it's able to display it, then hide it, then display it, then hide it again multiple times, it gives the appearance of a constant now playing text, which is something that I really struggled on with developing this project. I'm showing you an example macro right now. If the music video has already passed five seconds, then show the song title. Do you understand it? Is that easier to get now? Now, I think I should explain something very cool. The win text. This competition text, it's very much based on the music channels from CSC, which if you don't know, is a company that made a bunch of channels that plays music videos. That's a simple way of putting it. And because I associate my nostalgia for music television in the 2010s, and because obviously CSC was a major music channel player within the 2010s, I thought I should copy that inspiration and use it for your the music. And if you ask me, it adds a lot to the feel of the actual channel. I feel happy watching it all. I coded a Python script for the win text so that every 15 minutes it changes to a new line in a notepad file of a bunch of pre-made win messages. So it constantly changes and shifts every 15 minutes, which again is absolutely awesome. It contributes to that nostalgia factor a lot and it makes me happy. 
So then, I hope that inspired you and kinda at least set something off in your brain to go and produce a cool project like that. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it with your mates. Share it with someone who you think would find this absolutely awesome. Or send it to someone who's a music TV nerd. I don't know. Anyone new. Either way, really glad that you stuck around to hear this nerdy side project of mine. I'll see you later for the next one. QLMB.